let's look at this potential divider example. So here we have a potential divider circuit consisting of fixed resistors. So there are three fixed resistors, the 4 ohm and the 2 ohm. These two are the fixed resistors. Connected in series with a 3 ohm resistor fitted with a sliding contact. Okay. All right, sure. These are connected across the battery of EMF 9 volt. So the EMF is here. And zero internal resistance as shown. Nice. What are the maximum and minimum output voltages of this potential divider circuit? All right. So right now, what you see here is a very classic potential divider setup. Okay. And what, what I want you to focus on is actually this output voltage. So if we look at this output voltage, the connector is between here and here. So if we think about our understanding about circuits, right? When you think about EMF, EMF is the boost give you 9 joule per coulomb. So we add 9 volts. Okay. So if you think about the current uh, leaving the circuit, it's going to be 9999999. Not German, uh, just 9 volts. <laughs> okay. And since this part uh, is 9, by the time you travel here, you will minus a certain potential. Let's say V1. And then if, let's say, you travel this one, you will minus V2. And then as you travel down here, you will minus V3, such that when you reach here, you must use all your energy, 0 volt. Okay. So before we can decide what is the maximum and minimum, I think as a practice, we can try to find V1, V2, and V3. All right. So we know we can use ratio. Okay. So uh, V1 to 4 ohm is equivalent to 9 volt, the whole circuit, over 4 plus 3 plus 2. Okay, so 4 plus 3 plus 2 is 9. So V1 happens to be 4 volt. Okay, so I'm going to replace this one with 4 volt. When you travel this one, you are minus 4 volt. And I think from here, we can continue already. V2 will be minus 3 volt. So you think about this, uh, if it's 9 volt up here, and then you minus 4 volt, what will you get at this point? Let me draw this up. This one is 9 volt minus 4. This one is 5 volts. So this tells me if I take this sliding contact and I slide it up to this position here, which is the maximum position, this part here will give me a reading of 5 volt. Okay, if I move the sliding contact here lah, upwards. I mean, towards this side, if I move the sliding contact here. Okay. Right. Next. You also know that because of this ratio thing, this one, the last uh, drop from here to here will be minus 2 volt. So 5 minus 3 here is 2 volt. 2 minus 2 here would be 0 volt. So if you look at the decrease, you boost by 9 volt, reach the 4 ohm, lose 4 volt. Reach the 3 ohm, lose 3 volt. Reach the 2 ohm, lose 2 volt, become 0, and then return back to the negative terminal to be boosted up again. So on one side, your highest, the green color wire, the highest possible one is 5. But what is the lowest possible one? Lowest possible point of the jockey or this uh, movable contact is here. Okay, so this 3 ohm resistor fitted with a sliding contact means that I can either slide the sliding contact to the highest part of the 3 ohm, which is 5 volt, or the lowest part of the 3 ohm, which is 2 volt. And the good news here is this bottom one is 0. So the maximum potential is 5 minus 0, which is 5. Potential difference, output voltage. Okay, and the minimum output voltage will be 2 minus 0, which is 2 volt. So find 5 and 2, the answer is B. Remember, 
ratio is your best friend. That's it for this example. Go try some other ones. I see you in the next one. Bye-bye.